<laughs> this is gonna be a personal one. There's gonna be no editing. I know usually for channel updates like this, I usually like to put editing in and all that. So, <laughs> but for this, I feel like editing would just serve the distract from the point of the video. So, uh, we, we need to talk about Cobra. Um, I like. I initially thought this was a problem, to be honest, because you know I I just I saw this old news. I went, okay, you know what? I'm gonna sit back and just see what comes out of this. I want to see a little bit more before I initially react. And then you know Jim Sterling's video comes out, and yes, he does say it's a bit of a problem. I I think I remember I didn't watch this video back again, but. Effectively, he said, Copa isn't an idiot. They're not stupid. They won't be all willy-nilly about it. You know, I was like, okay, you're right. Maybe, maybe, maybe they won't. Maybe they actually understand context. Maybe they'll actually have human beings reviewing this, not having some machine learning robot, you know, try to do it like YouTube does. But then, combined with, like, you know, other videos, mainly... The game theory that really just explains it, and you know, news of that YouTube is going to be implementing machine learning to help determine bots. Yes, a bot to determine if a video is misleading in if it's child content or not. We really just kind of, uh, yes. Um, as by the way, I heavily recommend you watch this game theory video, even though you may not like Matt Pat's personality. He really gets down to facts and he does not cut corners on it and I feel like it's really necessary you watch this video if you know nothing about the Copa situation because I cannot explain it as well as he does and then it wasn't until today where my favorite youtuber Nerdcubed came out with this video and just really just talking out I'm like this is really is a problem like this is really a problem especially for me, like, f as you people know, my content mainly survives on playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I do do try the new stuff, and you know, but Yu-Gi-Oh is the main source. That's probably why you're all mainly here. You're all here to see the Yu-Gi-Oh content. Here's the problem. <laughs> um, Yu-Gi-Oh, within Cobra's broad fucking and vague terms, which is never good, by the way, when it comes to these sort of laws, the, seriously, more broad and more vague it is, more of a problem it, it's going to be. Because that gives them more flexibility in what they can get away with. Um, <sighs> but the thing is, yet again, just going back to my point, um, yu gi -Oh! is considered to be a children's card game. And despite the fact I make my videos now mainly directed to, you know, what the <laughs> what YouTube would consider not made for kids, you know, if that wasn't made evident in my custom video, um, the bot or Cobra can just turn around and be like, no, this is misleading. This is this is actually children's content, and we could just find you. Of course, they say, um, because the max is like forty two k per video. But Copa says it will see will change the amount depending on how much you know it would affect the business and will adjust the fine to that. His thing, I'm a nineteen year old. I'm jobless. I have a whole future in front of me. I wanna go to university. I wanna, you know, get into proper journalism. I want to be able to still be able to have a career on this platform, but Copa can just ten eventually go, yep, yeah, nope. And how am I supposed to afford a lawyer? <laughs> and then combined with the fact that this change is rolling out in December, like December 9th. And the thing is, um, if I bring up the calendar, I'm going to be gone from the 24th all the way into January for that period. Because I'm on holiday, mainly because my mum, it's just a bunch of things just happened there. Because my dad's new house is being built in the Philippines. It will be complete. Um, my mum's high school and college university. University, yeah. 
reunions and my mum's birthday is all good into that and we're not even counting Christmas and New Year's Day. You know, my mum just really wants to spend it with her family in the Philippines. So I won't be here to match the channel or upload new content. And that kind of just takes me away into what I'm trying to do to get around this. Um, first things first, I'm going to be backing up every single any it plays you give it series and the DXD play series. Um really just in case anything gets get well destroyed. I don't really mind if anything else gets rid of, like the vlogs, this, this, you know I might even back up the edits. I'm kind of wanna keep those around. But just in case, you know, YouTube just deletes them because, you know, it violates co copo regulations. <laughs> uh, yeah. Second thing is, just on on the day I go holiday, I'm gonna private the whole channel, just so I don't need to worry about anything. Hopefully, while I'm gone, when I'm back, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we'll unprivate it, and then you know, just in case I have all those videos, I can just back up onto I don't know my own personal website if I want, or you know, maybe another video hosting platform where I can get ad revenue. Yeah, who knows? But <sighs> Copa's, I th Copa needs to set the fact that YouTube's regulations already kind of, you know, I don't know how to put it. But Copa's regulation, like YouTube, already has it in its terms of service that you need to be thirteen years and older to use the platform. If you're not, you have to use YouTube Kids, and YouTube Kids. It's very designed, you know, for kids. They can't collect ads, you know, ad data off of that, which, you know, which is why Copa completely jumped on YouTube for earlier this year in September. And this is what started this whole Copa thing. And then, but the fact that YouTube's not being helpful at all, like, they're just. They define what factors into Copa's regulations, and they go, "We're not going to give you legal advice, and also we're just going to be completely hands off as per usual, because you know we're going to have a machine learning bot to do it." Yeah, machine learning. I'm sorry, but yeah, we'll get better over time. But during those early days, he could just absolutely fuck any channel, and then Copa will just catch on to it and then fuck them, and then. It's becoming a mess because Copa's sudden urge to regulate things happened. You know, it's like, it's like, and as Matt Pat says in his video, um, you know, when he was talking to Susan, you know, the person who's effectively the CEO of YouTube at this point, the people who make these rules don't even own cell phones. The body don't even know the internet is, but they think they can regulate. This, you know, something that's made in 1997. You know, this thing is nearly what three decades old. Two decades. I don't care about the mass at this point. I'm just. I just don't want to be like this in this situation. That's also why I have started to stream more. You know, I I can't really be hit by COVID regulations over there, can I? Now, you know, I've. So yeah, that's why I've been streaming a lot more. I'm really going to be a lot more focused on streaming when I, on the coming days, you know. Um, and yet again, if my channel ends up, you know, going completely off the grid, I really, really recommend you follow me on Twitter. I will keep you updated on Twitter. Okay, I will try my best to keep you all updated on Twitter, and you know. <sighs> but yeah, I'm gonna. Blanket private the channel on the 24th of December for three weeks because that's the period I'm gone. When I come back, I'll unblock it and then we'll go from there. I'll make a new announcement here for that. For now, it's just business as usual. <sighs> yeah, but like I said, follow me on Twitter. If anything bad, you know, if I have to find a new place to pull my content, I really just recommend you put it. In, you just follow me on my Twitter, and then you can just keep an update on this. Because this isn't something that should be allowed. Like, Copa obviously doesn't know what they're doing, and then... I'm, you know, I should have prepared this in advance, but... 
there is something that my friend has brought up, you know, but I usually don't believe in these sort of petition things, but you know what, let's, let's, you know, let's see if this actually works, you know, like, yeah, no, oh god, I actually probably should have gone to the messenger and found it, yeah, you know what, you can go find it, but there is a petition out there, pretty much saying, you know, Copa really should just be updated and shouldn't be allowed to have this much free reign on YouTube. And while they're completing their rights to have that much free reign, at the same time, they don't know what they're going to be doing with it, to be honest, if any of those regulations have told us. So yeah. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll just have to stop doing Yu-Gi-Oh things. Maybe not Let's Play things, it's just... If I can't find another way to host my videos, I may have to just completely change the direction of the channel. Because, you know, COPA regulations are, let's be honest, not well defined, they're not, they're out of date, and let's be honest, they're throwing themselves into something they obviously don't know anything about. Okay, like, come on. <sighs> but anyway, thank you for watching this video. It means a lot. Um, you again, freely for me on Twitter. It's necessary at this point if you just want to keep an update with what I'm doing, especially when COVID regulations are finally official on the 9th of next month. So yeah. <sighs> thank you.